My name's Stephen Foster. Hi, I'm a senior at Jefferson High School. Oh, nice to meet you. Oh. So I work here at Hamilton Sunstrand. Look forward to talking to you. Um, Mr. Foster, right? Yes. Um, so I am very interested in the uh, engineering field, um, aeronautical and astronautical sort of, like I'm very hands-on and stuff. Um, what type of classes do you suggest that a student like me would take? Um, I think math is definitely, definitely a very important class that you should take, uh, things along the lines of uh, geometry, algebra, and some people get afraid of this word, but sometimes calculus, but uh, it's something that I think is very important. And also things like physics, uh, chemistry are good classes. And uh, more and more, uh, you definitely want to be a well-rounded person, so you want to make sure that uh, any kind of classes in regards to literature and uh, English and writing as well, because there's a lot of papers and emails and different things like that that you have to do. Okay. Um what would you say you do personally? Like, what's your typical work day? Oh, it, it, you know, it quite varies. So over my career, I've, I've had a number of different jobs in engineering. So right now I'm a um, staff electrical engineer. So um, and what that involves uh, right now, I'm a project engineer for test equipment. So um, for everything that we design inside of Hamilton Sunstream, we have to test it before we send it out to um, the aircraft, so uh, Boeing's and the different play places. Have you ever flown a plane before? Yes. You yeah? have? Okay. Yes. So you probably like when it stays in the air? <laughs> oh, yes. Okay. Well, that's good. Um, so what I do is I help to test it to make sure that after we've designed it and we put, built it and put it together that it goes through all of the tests and the test equipment that it's actually being tested on. Uh, we help to design all of that test equipment and uh, make sure that uh, it's making sure that we're sending out a good product to go on planes and last for a very long time. That's cool. I'm, that's, that's really cool. It's just it's something that's really fascinating to me um, for like all my life is just airplanes and okay. how something so heavy can stay in the air. Wow. So the physics is just very interesting. Very good. Very um, what would you say your potential salary is um, for like us starting off right getting out of college? Um, just... Okay. Beginners, engineer. Now, I think that um, different engineering fields have different uh, beginning salaries, mm -hmm. and so it, it and it does have a pretty large uh, range. So I would probably tend to say that the range for most engineers that probably will work at uh, Hamilton Sunstrand are probably people like uh, mechanical engineers, electrical engineers, and there's probably industrial engineers, manufacturing engineers, and they're all different type of engineers and so the range probably varies from maybe 40,000 to 60,000 when you graduate from um, college and it depends on if you've done an internship where um, in between uh, your summers and your classes you come and you actually have a chance to work here or if you co-op so if you actually take a semester off from school and you actually work that entire time and then you go back to school um, so that all plays into your starting salary as well. That's cool. And I was told that you are a Purdue graduate. I am a Purdue graduate. Did so. you do the uh, co-op here? I did not do a co-op here. Um, I actually did an internship. But um, So this is actually um, my um, second company that I've worked for. But my first company that I worked for, which is ironically a competitor of Hamilton Sunstream, but uh, I actually interned there for three summers, and it, it definitely made a dramatic, uh, you know, I guess it played a big role in my starting salary and also how comfortable I felt and the company wanted me to be there and then me being there and actually to be productive once I got there. That's very cool. So yeah. you definitely suggest that um, a student in, in college should look for a job in their field yes. during college? Yes. And with so many people now, um, you know, graduating from schools, you really need something that will separate you from everyone else that has a resume and is trying to apply for that job. So what co-ops and internships does is it helps to set you apart and it gives you added experience that other people probably wouldn't have. That's very cool. cool. So um, what skills should I have if I were to want to pursue this per career? <laughs> That's okay. Um, well, you know, I, I think that uh, some of the things that we kind of talked about, um, um, amazingly, even though engineering is definitely something that is a very technical field, 
Um, you really need very good interpersonal skills and uh, communication skills because one of the things that we found is and we find is that you know things that happen there maybe are some technical difficulties but for the most part most people are pretty sound technically but when it comes time to communicate with other people that seems to be a problem especially in um, uh, engineering type role because most engineers like to kind of be off by themselves and, <laughs> yeah. you know, do those things. So um, along with, you know, having a strong technical base by, you know, knowing math and your sciences and different things like that, working on your communication skills and verbally and uh, written. So that would say those would be the big things there. Cool. So what, how many years would you say um, – a student should be in college for before they enter just full blown into the engineering field. Well, like, um, let's say like let's say electrical engineering. Okay. Um, now I think uh, for most people go to school four years, so that's the mm-hmm. tra- traditional um, um, approach to going through school. And um, but I think that if you have an opportunity where you can actually. Uh, like we talked about, do a co-op where it may extend your uh, college career, or even if there's an extra class that uh, may be very advantageous for you to take that may give you an extra um, boost in regards to maybe knowing something that someone else doesn't know, maybe stay an extra semester to take that class and learn something new that um, would set you apart from everyone else would be a good thing. So um, depending on how many co-ops you take and um you know, what other classes you may select, maybe four to maybe five and five, five and a half years, potentially. Okay. Well, thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you. I enjoyed meeting you. That was nice meeting you too. And good luck. And if you go to Purdue, uh, I think it's a great choice. Thank you. (laughs)